there's a set of uh, offline diagnostic utilities that um, an HP 3000 administrator can build called Diagnostic Utility System and it's used by or was used by customer engineers or people that wanted to do maintenance on their systems. Uh, the dust tape, DUS tape for Diagnostic Utility System is just uh, booted off a standalone tape. It's not actually an operating system in and of itself but it has enough uh, software and drivers and so forth to run basic tests on the system. And we can show that booting off the, um, the tape drive that we have here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to power on the tape drive. Let's do that real quick. And the drive is going to come up and we're just going to load the tape on the drive. Okay, so it's going to try and load, but we're going to say, no, forget that. And since this is an auto-loading tape drive, usually this drive will be in a rack. So you'll only see this much of the drive. The rest of it will be inside uh, the cabinet. But we have it out um, so we can use it with this uh, Series 42. So the way it works is we just stick the tape inside and we don't need, XC means uh, compression, there's built-in compression in the drive, we don't need that. And you might be able to hear a little bit more fan noise because this drive is auto-loading. Uh, it uh, loads the tape using a stream of air. So it, it has a air stream that it uses to thread the tape And let's just see if we can see that. So right now it's trying to find the end of the tape. And it's still looking for the end of the tape. And the Airstream will go and pull the tape up through this channel and then wind it around the take-up reel in the top. And it's going around. Sometimes it makes it on the first try and sometimes it doesn't. So that, it looks like, okay, it actually made it. Great, so now it's going to read the tape until it finds the beginning of tape marker, which it's done. And we see on the indicator light on the front, it's 1600 BPI, and it's at the beginning of the tape. Let's go ahead and put it online. So now the system can read it. And what we're going to do is go over here to the CPU, and we have the tape at the beginning of the tape mark, or the beginning of the tape, and we can load the software, the standalone diagnostic utility system, uh, onto the the CPU or into memory and have the CPU execute that code. And what we're going to do is we're going to load it through uh, the hardware load button. So we can either do it through uh, the load command on the console or just push the load button on the CPU. And what we'll see is I'm going to press the load button. That is set for channel 9, device 1, and we have that's what we have. We have the tape drive cabled to uh, the GIC that has channel 9 in the thumb wheel on the, um, uh, the channel board. And the uh, tape drive itself is configured to be unit number 1. So we're going to do that. And as soon as I press the load button, it's going to start reading the tape. And you'll see that the activity light will come on and the, the SPU will go into the uh, run state. It's going to do that, and then it's going to start reading the uh, tape. As soon as I press the load uh, button on the front panel or type in the load command on the console, 
the uh, CPU is going to send a command to uh, the tape drive and say, okay, start reading all the software off that tape. So essentially boot up the system off of tape, and that's what it's doing right now. It's reading the diagnostic system off the tape. And if we go back to the console here, we're going to see that we now have the prompt for the diagnostic utility system uh, on the screen. And one thing that I can also do, again, this utility has a help command, so that will tell us all the commands that are on, uh, that are part of uh, the DUS, or diagnostic system. And I just want to show the uh, tape drive again reading the tape because as soon as I press enter for the uh, for the help command the system uses the tape drive as just a big long serial storage unit and it's going to uh, rewind the tape and uh, go back to the beginning and, and start telling us what all the commands are uh, on that tape. So what I'm going to do right now is I typed in help, I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, so we're we're actually reading the tape backwards. We're going to do some reading forwards. And then the console is going to show us it's printing out on the console what all the commands are. Sorry for my Poor production values here, but it is what it is. So we can see various different commands that the diagnostic system has that we can use. And what we'll do is we don't want to see any system commands. So some of these commands are like ATP Diag, that's actually Advanced Terminal Processor, uh, that's for a Series 37 version, Memory Diagnostics for 37, Memory Diagnostics for Series 64. Again, remember we're on a Series 42. Um, some of these, there's an IO map function that we can also do as part of the DOES system. Again, it's going and it's reading that tape to read the uh, the uh, I/O map command off of tape into memory, and then it's going to execute it. And we're getting a read indication. Okay, and now it's going. Okay, I've got the I/O map command loaded. Let me go. Let's just go ahead and do that. So it's telling us our cold load is channel 9, device 1. Uh, channel 1 and 2 are ADCCs, 9 and 11 are, are GICs, um, and so forth. So um, let's just run a command here, another command, and let's do uh, a command that actually tests something. I'm sorry, it's having to rewind the tape. To, uh, get a list of all the commands. I think what I want to do is a uh, memory command, memory test. Okay, so what we're going to do is a diagnostic called PRM Diag. That will run some memory diagnostics on our system. So again, you can I don't know if you can hear it, it's rewinding the tape, it's gonna load the PRM diag into memory and then start executing that.
Okay, do we want to display the contents of the memory error log? No. We'll skip that. So what this is telling us is that what our memory, uh, physical memory layout looks like. And it's saying in, on controller zero, we have different banks of memory and the kinds of uh, memory chips we have on the, the uh, different boards. So here, remember we have one four megabyte board. So we have in bank zero, six, which is 64 KB or 64 K chip array. So we have one, two, three, four of those. In bank zero, bank one has four, bank two has four, and bank three has four. And there's not a bank four, five, six, or seven. If we had four memory boards, we'd have four lines uh, showing us um, what kind of memory configuration, hardware memory array that we had configured on the board. So, okay to clear memory, yes. So it started a memory test. Uh, and it's saying, okay, we're ready to go. And it's going to do, it's just going to march through and do various tests. This actually can take a while, so uh, we might not go through the entire thing. If we look at the front of the CPU, we see that the activity light is going almost full bore, meaning the CPU is uh, pretty busy running the memory tests. And this is the view from the back of the uh, CPU. Uh, we can see way back there in the back on the back plane are a couple of uh, indicator lights showing that we have something. Our memory boards, uh, the controller board right here has a uh, status light. Uh, the CMP has various lights on it and then our uh, AOU part of the uh, CPU. So those are all running. They have various different lights that show up, uh, showing different activity that's going on and so forth. So our memory test is continuing. Uh, it is showing us its progress. You see the little dots marching across the screen there. Let's make sure we got everything in there. And as it continues to progress, it will run different tests and show different results. Okay, so our memory diagnostic has completed, and there's nine sections that it ran. Self-read, address path, initialize write tests, it writes different patterns, uh, no errors detected in system memory array during diagnostic, into the diagnostics. So that's basically just an example of what the diagnostics would do uh, from the dust tape. So after we're done running our uh, diagnostics, we can just unload the tape from the tape drive. And if we're done, we can just hit halt on the CPU front panel. See how the uh, activity light is still lit. So if we hit halt, we're going to put the SPU in the halt state. And then we can just unload our diagnostic tape in the system. And we'll just hit reset and then unload. Our tape's going to rewind and then it's going to unload the tape. Slowly back up to, and then open the front door, and we can take our tape out, and we're done.